हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट मिस्ट्रीज दैट इज देयर इन द स्टॉक मार्केट वी आर ऑलवेज लुकिंग टू फाइंड मल्टी बैगर आइडियाज सो ओवर द इयर्स आई विल शेयर विथ यू द लर्निंग्स दैट आई हैव हैड एंड ए कॉमन थीम विच आई बिलीव इवॉल्व एंड दैट इज हाउ द मल्टी बैगर स्पेस इज क्रिएटेड सो मल्टी बैगर इज समथिंग विच हैपन्स over a period of time and that is where the opportunity for us is to identify them early on now if one of the thoughts which we just see is uh, actually in a year how many earthquakes really happen if we just look at that one data point then on an average in a year almost about 5 lakh earthquakes happen and out of that 5 lakh earthquakes almost about 1 lakh earthquakes are the ones which we can feel this is a big number but we don't even realize it so earthquakes is something which is part and parcel of our life but we don't realize it unless and until it is one which is of a major magnitude likewise multi bagger stocks happen silently and we don't even notice it we just have to see things around us and from that theme we can identify these stocks which are genuinely the multi baggers in the market so let me give one example which i think is relevant and which can help us understand how multi baggers happen so one of the sectors where multi baggers have happened and let's talk about the automobile passenger car segment earlier on that is in the 80s the market share of automobile passenger cars was dominated by the famous brands of fiat and ambassadors so those were the guys those were the companies which were capturing more than 90% market share what happened there after was a company was formed which was a joint venture by the name of maruti it was a joint venture between suzuki of japan and government of india now that joint venture was exactly when the seeds of multi bagger were sown what happened was that suzuki bought in technology into the passenger car segment and maruti which was then you know owned by the government of india provided the market opportunity so it was a win win that you had one efficient product and a market opportunity in terms of the size and the market share shifted completely from fiat and ambassador and that is when the multi bagger happened so the seeds of multi bagger happened when a joint venture happens between two companies one which provides technology the other which provides the kind of market opportunity then over a period of time many foreign companies have come into india and today even maruti is no longer an indian company it is 51% owned by suzuki so it's more of a foreign company so the migration in the industry when it happens from inefficient guys or companies which are providing lesser technologically superior product that moves to the ones which do better quality work and actually the multi bagger happens so that has been the example of passenger car segment let's look at one more example which was there in case of automobiles two wheelers so we all know that earlier on as was the case in uh, passenger cars we had fiat and ambassadors in case of two wheelers we had very poor companies in terms of lml vespa or a majestic auto then came a stage when a multi bagger happened in terms of a joint venture between hero and honda so the joint venture was between honda of japan and hero which is the munjal group of this country it was the biggest multi bagger in the two wheeler segment and thereafter what happened was honda parted ways and set up its own company the scooter which we all know in the market by the name of activa is owned 100% by hmsi which is honda motorcycles and scooters earlier honda had a partnership with hero then when they established themselves they set up their own company and that now company is bigger than bajaj auto so once the partnership broke then hero became a market performer when the seeds of multi bagger happened when you know there was a joint venture so if any investor had bought at the joint venture stage and had continued to hold the stock till the time the partnership went on huge money was made likewise if we look at one more sector in terms of uh, commercial vehicles the biggest multi bagger which has happened in commercial vehicles has been in the space of a uh, company by the name of aishar motors Aishar again is a joint venture wherein Volvo is the foreign partner and the company has delivered humongous returns to the shareholders so the inefficient guys still continue to have a dominant market share 
but Aishar has delivered super noble returns. This entire theory where there are inefficient guys and the business shifts to the efficient guys is the secret behind multi-baggers. You can see this in various sectors, whether it is the banking sector where earlier you had cooperative banks, you had public sector banks and the business is actually shifting to private sector banks. When we call these banks as private sector banks in terms of HDFC or ICICI, all of them are actually foreign banks because more than 40% of the business is owned by FIIs. Likewise, if you talk about aviation, you talk about telecom, all those spaces, you will have opportunities of business shifting from inefficient to the efficient guys. So that is the secret of multi-bagger. That is what gives us great return. Now, the biggest question is, where do we see this kind of opportunities today? We know that in history, Maruti became a multi-bagger. We know that Aishar became a multi-bagger. We know that Hero Honda delivered super normal returns. But today, similar kind of opportunities are there in the sectors of insurance. So I think insurance is one where the future multi-baggers will evolve. Similarly, like we mentioned in other sectors, you have LIC, which is the largest market share owner of insurance business in the country. And the business is shifting to the private JV companies, whether it is HDFC Standard Life, whether it is Bajaj Alliance, whether it is ICICI Pro, all these companies are exactly in the similar stage like the other companies were in other sectors. That is, business is shifting from the big company which is government owned and moving to the other companies and they are doing much more profitable growth. So insurance is one sector where we think opportunities of multi-bagger are there. The second sector where we think multi-baggers will evolve will be in the space of defense, which has been dominated by government for more than six and a half decades and is now opening up for the private sector. The third pocket of opportunity is in railways business. Again, railways was confined only to the government sector and is opening up for various other companies. Uh, another sector which we think is going to be ports and media, which will open up in future for various companies and that is where the multi-baggers will happen. So the secret of multi-bagger, just to sum up things, lies in terms of the patience to hold the stock. It, it happens when the seeds of joint venture happen. So all you have to see is if there are joint venture happenings in the sector and that is where the multi-baggers will happen. The second thing that you need to see is whether there are inefficient guys or the business is migrating from the inefficient guys to the efficient players and that is where the joint baggers will happen. Most important thing will be the patience to hold to those stocks. So if you buy a stock and just sell it just with 10 or 20 percent appreciation, you will never enjoy the fruits of multi baggers. So the biggest thing is to have patience, invest into quality stocks and generate returns of multi-baggers. This was the secret. This is what I wanted to share with all of you. And we look forward to your happy investing in the new year. Thank you very much, all of you.